it's time to move into the mega base. As we continue building up the exterior, we're also going to move into the caves as planned. Can't keep running to my tiny storage area forever now, can I? I've already started by lighting up the top 100-ish levels. And guess what I found? A great cave for a storage system that just happens to come pre-furnished with my first two spawners that I've found on the server. We've got a skelly spawner up here, and the one I actually really need, a spider spawner over here. I didn't even know normal spider spawners existed. I thought they were just cave spider spawners. There's some other really cool caves in here and just different spots, including this one, which is just saying library to me. Then there's this spot between the library area and the storage area, and I'm not entirely sure what to do with it, but I'm kind of thinking maybe a kitchen? The theme that I'm going for with this build is really like a dark icy... Ha! <laughs> Suckas! Anyways, the theme I've been going for with this build is really like a dark icy kind of vibe. And we're going to continue that with, you can see the edge of it here, with this kind of wall pattern. Let's jump into a time lapse. There's just something about polished basalt that polishes the look of a build, don't you think? I am so sorry. I am really, really obsessed with how this looks. Of course, it does need a few uh, finishing touches still, such as these end caps, but our finishing touches are gonna require a few more materials. Okay, all the other items are acquired and now we get to do some wither farming. There are a couple of reasons that I need a gold farm and piglin trading system for this, like, for this mega build. I'm realizing that soul sand is going to become one of them. Not gonna lie, it feels wrong ripping through them like this. Let's see how this looks from up above. So I carried on this pattern through the walls there, but then at the end we've got skulk. And I think I like that. And I think I particularly like that with the motif I'm gonna add. Tucky is currently now working on a wither cage and, well, okay, minor detour here. Let's see, we're just gonna take a shulker box and dump all the stuff into it. Let me see if I remember how to make a respawn anchor. I've done this, what, once? I did it. I love carrying around my backstock because to be honest, it's really, really handy. A new player on the server has been happy and excited to make some deals with us about using our farms and are interested in the Wither Skelly farm and they're going to build a Wither killing chamber nearby. Oh, nice! We better watch a professional, guys. Disclaimer, not actually, they haven't done this in quite a while, but I'm still excited. The fantastic part of this is that we're still in Wither Skelly range 
above my farm. And so we're just passively collecting both skulls and XP. Ready? And flick! Oh! Oh! Yay! <laughs> Alright, well. We continue getting more Wither Skelly farm stuff set up, which is fantastic. It is crazy working on a build that's so big that I'm flying back and forth from different areas. What do we think? I like, I like that there's a difference you know, in the end nooks, and that they have candles. I don't know. I really like it. But I could potentially be convinced otherwise, so let me know. Candles or just the same motif with the with the soul lanterns and the trapdoor. Anyways, let's take a fun moment here because I am so excited for this. Nether stars really are the prettiest item in the game, in my opinion and I have been wanting to use them decoratively for so long. Okay, I'm so excited for this. All right, we'll put one there, I think. And of course. <gasps> it's ready. Oh my gosh. Cute. Okay, and the glow frames make that look so good. So here's the thing. As I was working on the Armor Trim Library, I realized that I adore how diamond trim looks on iron armor, which is very impractical, maybe, but oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Okay, I am going to stop here and I'm gonna grab myself a few copies of the Ward Smithing template. So now, I'm gonna make myself a full set of the ward armor because that was another thing I realized as I was working on the armor trim library is I really, really like how the ward looks. My, you know, current set is very mismatched. I've got tied on the chest plate and the pants and then I've got spire on the netherite boots and I'm not sure what I have on the leather boots actually. And I'm not sure what I have on this either. What, what, what is this? Shaper on my head, and host on my boots. Let's take a peek at how these are looking. We've got Skulk in the ceiling now, and our cute little murals on the walls on our way down. And all in all, I'm obsessed. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and place an armor stand right here. And I think I'm gonna want that is the perfect spot. And I'm gonna want some sort of lighting in here too, I think. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good and I love that it matches the build. So this is a fun little trick that I learned recently. Um, stairs and slabs actually let light through. Not, not to their full brightness, I don't think. Um, but if we add, you know, a light, underneath these stairs, it helps illuminate the armor stand a little bit, and I love it. With this section all spruced up, I'm definitely ready to get going on some decorating in this cave here. Oh, well, let's fall into a hole, why don't we? But I first want to start laying out some of the storage area. I don't think we'll be building a full system today, but I want to have an idea of where I'm gonna be putting things. So first off, I want my inputs to be kind of at the corner here. So I think we're gonna have bulk storage going that way and then multi-item storage going this way. All right, so this is our lineup of our multi-item system so far. And the beauty of a multi-item system is that you can sort 54 types of items into it, but that doesn't mean that there are going to be just 54 slots for things. So the, they'll be processed through the sorter and then go into like several sets of chests underneath. I'll probably do like four tall maybe. That seems reasonable. 
I'm not gonna lie, this is already taking up more space than I even expected. I might need to break through that wall into the cave beyond and even turn that into more bulk storage. There's so many items in the game and I'm definitely gonna be doing some more mapping out of uh, our storage system, but I think this is a good start. This is gonna be my first crack at something more than just, you know, your average plain old item sorter. So I'm really excited about it. But now it's time for the fun part, decoration. Okay, so we've got some shulkers of good decorating materials. We know that that's gonna be our forge area. I'm not even gonna mark that out. This central part is actually, I think, gonna be a water feature, but then we need to tuck some other things away too. So I think we'll start out in this corner. So this corner is gonna be kind of our workspace area. We'll have our crafting bench. We'll have our other like workbenches, you know, a smithing table, um, stone cutter, you know, all the, all the things. Right, well, things are starting to shape up in here, finally. I just kind of knuckled down and did most of this last night. So in addition to our workspaces over here, we have a library area and it has all the shulker boxes that currently have mini blocks in them, along with a little display kind of telling us what's inside. We have a little food area over here, which like I'm probably never gonna actually use, but it does look really cute. Then we've got our furnace area and a bedroom, which I'm kind of feeling uninspired for. I don't have a good vision in my head of what I want this to look like, so I don't know. You want to let me know in the comments what, what I should do with this too? But now it's time to tie all this together. Our first order of business is to go grab some coral. All right, we do need to destroy a coral reef, unfortunately. See, I learned a little while ago that coral fans are farmable. I feel like we should be able to craft those into coral blocks so that we don't have to destroy coral reefs or trade with a lot of wandering traders in order to get the coral we need. Coral reef partially destroyed, check. All right, let's first dig out a little path. Ooh, yeah, okay. I wasn't entirely sure about how this, this path was gonna end up looking, but I think it's pretty decent. That is a very nice path. I like this. I haven't done anything, any, any paths like this textured, but I like how it looks. Now, one of my goals with this whole cave is for me to be able to fly through and on down into the storage area. And also this is gonna be opened up as a passageway to the library. And so I think having a big old path here helps connect all of these areas and not make it feel like it's just a big old empty space. And the last thing we're going to add up here before we start on our forge is we're actually gonna go ahead and put in a cute little pond. And why, yes, it is cute and heart-shaped. I didn't plan it that way, but then it kind of turned into that, and I'm not mad about it. We have been summoned to the Wither Farm. All right. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This feels so wrong, but it's so fantastic. They said you can kill over 4,000 withers an hour with it. We are gonna need to replace the dogs, and I'm still trying to figure out why they're occasionally getting hit. Um, Derek suggested putting soul sand um, down in the bottom. We might try that. Ah, well, we have a mystery on our hands. The top layer of our whiskey farm was apparently recently filled uh, with magma cubes and blazes. And like, I just did some maintenance up there on stream on Monday because I was having a few, I had a few rogue spots to fill in and I just found another one that, that needs wither roses. But 
apparently the whole place was on fire and so Ducky slabbed it up. So now we need to go fix that. Alrighty, Wither Rose is collected and math says that this should be enough, so fingers crossed. Actually, we're gonna pop right down in here. Aha! Okay, well, I'm glad that's dealt with now. Oh, yeah, that's excellent. Except I just heard a blaze. Where did I hear a blaze? Well, that was interesting. It looked like a blaze spawned in on the carpet, which shouldn't be possible. All right, we can fly straight out there. Oh, that's fantastic. Anyways, let's get back to the base shenanigans. Fantastic. Alrighty. So now let's add, I think, a couple more lights in here. Alright. And then we add just a few more little touches here and there. Okay, yes, this is a cute and happy and very colorful little pond. I love it. Let's add some flowers around the edge. And with all those bits added, there is nothing that can make this better than a cute little bridge. Ow. Yep, I love it. Well, that leaves one area to be finished here. I am both excited and scared to be working on this area, but basically we're going to just put in a forge and see what happens, I guess. One of the things I want to make sure we incorporate in here is some more of the ice theme. We should also put in some icicles and maybe, um, let's see, what else was I thinking of? Icicles and like, ooh, yeah, blue, like soul fire. I'm leaving this one a little bit more rough and unfinished looking in some of the spots. Like we're leaving some dirt and some gravel in the walls. I don't know. I don't have a particular, like, lore kind of reason for it. It just feels right. I'm definitely going to need to put some soul fire in, in the wall of the entry here, too, I think. Okay, this is looking pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Now, of course, we need to just finish up the, you know, actual entry to this area. I'm a little worried about fire spread, so fingers crossed that we don't get any, any of that stuff going on in here. Well, all right then, it's nothing too fancy, but I think it is effective still. All right, before we finish up here, I think we need to do one more thing, and that is, of course, uh, putting our map in here. Which, of course, means we need to map out this area, and it'll be fun, because then we can see how things change. Well, that's our castle, so far. Not much to look at from the air, to be honest. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and fill in that side with the map because we will we will have some things popping up over there. And let's take that map and fill it all the rest of the way in too. And there we go. We have a map of our area in here now. Well, I'd say we have definitely successfully moved into this base. Today was a lot of detailing work and I may be a little creative out, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. We even made a new friend for doing technical stuff with, and I'm so excited for that. This is a reminder that I have pictures that inspire the space um, being uploaded onto Buy Me A Coffee, and I would always appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and maybe check out the video that's recommended for you from my channel next. I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!